Hey cosplayers, welcome to another cosplay quick tip clip. In today's video, we're going to be covering the three major problems that everyone faces when they're cosplaying in a small space and how to solve them. If you guys are excited about this video, comment in the comments right now with the words itty bitty living space. All right, go ahead and comment that right now if you're excited about this video. While you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and select the bell notification. Select all to be notified of all of our uh, videos whenever we come out with them so you can stay on top of your game and cosplay like a boss. <clears throat> all right, so what are the three major problems that you face when working in a small space? We've got storage, the tools, and materials, right? So storage, if you don't have a place to put all your stuff in your small space, things are going to start to pile up. You're not going to have any work surface to be able to actually create anything in. Uh, it's going to be pretty demotivating, uh, pretty hard to be able to get anything done, right? Uh, with uh, tools, because you have a small space and not very much storage, you it limits the tools that you can use. You can't necessarily get a bandsaw or a table saw or these different things um, that just decreases uh, the tools that you can be able to use in a small space and be able to actually store, right? And then we have materials, and it's just this vicious cycle. Materials, because of lack of storage, lack of space, uh, it decreases and limits the materials that you can use. You start to can't be able to use wood or you know things like uh, vacuum forming or uh, sometimes 3D printing or laser engraving. Some of these like more advanced uh, tools and or materials that you could be able to use with silicone molds. You know, having to have pressure chambers, all kinds of stuff like that that you just don't have room or storage for. And so you kind of end up feeling like, oh man, all I can make out of uh, cosplays out of is like cardboard and duct tape with my small space. All right, so let's that's the problems, right, that you're facing. You're pretty familiar with those. Let's talk through some solutions, all right? So basically, what we're looking for is we need something, a material that we can work with that gets you a professional look uh, with minimal tools that don't take up a whole lot of space and that you can be able to easily store and, and keep in, in your small space without taking up a ton of room uh, and, and everything, right? So there's two materials I would recommend. We'll start, we'll kind of go in reverse order. Um, if you want to come around here, uh, materials that I would recommend, because that's kind of, you see the, the end of the cycle there, right? Because you need to have materials that you can work with that have uh, minimal tools or small tools and then that take up minimal space, therefore, right, for your storage aspect. So materials I would recommend are EVA foam, number one, uh, also th thermoplastics. Uh, both of these things can be used with minimal tools, um, minimal uh, space that it takes up, uh, and you don't need to get a whole lot of big items to be able to use these. Now, my preference of the two, I would recommend EVA foam. Uh, it's, uh, especially if you're a beginner or different things like that, it's a little bit easier to come by as well. And they do come in very handy, uh, sized sheets that you can be able to easily store, you know, on a shelf or different things, as well as larger rolls if you do have a little bit extra space. So now with, the, with that in mind, uh, we'll talk through, uh, how that kind of, uh, plays out down the line, right? So with EVA foam, for example, the tools that you're going to need, very minimal. You don't need you know, big band saws or anything like that. Some people do that have big workshops, but all you really need is an X-Acto knife to cut it, cutting mat to protect the surface you're working on, and um, uh, X-Acto knife to cut it, mat to be able to protect your surface, and that's pretty much about it. You're going to want to have the ability to be able to... <laughs> protect your, uh, yourself from any kind of fumes you might get from uh, using glues and different things that you'd be using. But uh, <laughs> but other than that, minimal tools, right, uh, that you're going to need. It takes up hardly any space. This can easily be stored. This is flat. You can slide it down behind uh, a work surface or in, you know, back behind a shelf or something like that when you're not using it. Um, you'll just pull it out when you need it. Uh, very easy to store. Uh, foams can come in different sizes. Let me grab, uh, show you an example here real quick. <laughs> All right, so um, like here, for example, is like a, nine, a 12 by 18 size sheet. 
easily fits on a shelf or you know um, different things you can also get 9 by 12s that fit very easily on a bookshelf or different things like that um, you can also get larger sizes if you have a little bit more space to be able to work with um, so that works great let's talk with um, with that so minimal tools right now let's talk storage so a couple solutions that I recommend um, on with storage is if you see here I mean I'm, I'm kind of in a small space luckily I'm fortunate to have a dedicated room that I can use um, many of you may be just working off of your kitchen table that's what I was doing for a long time um, when I first started and I had to kind of store things other places and pull it out when I needed um, but if you have a, you know, a surface that you're able to work at or a desk or something like that, uh, something that I recommend just to be able to take up minimal space are things like these uh, under storage or off of your desk type of storage options where you can add a little bit, of, uh, add a little drawer easily underneath or different things like that. Um, some place to be able to store some of your things and get stuff off of your actual surface so that you, they don't pile up and taking up tons of room on your actual surface you're working on. Um, here's another example of something that you can hang off the side of your, your desk. This is something that maybe you can pull out when you're crafting, hook it around the desk um, that has all your stuff in it and you can just go and stick that in a closet when you're not using it um, or when you don't need it. Now one of the big things is once you start making your costumes and different things, a big storage problem that people run into is where do I put all of these? How am I going to store my costumes? What do I do? Um, something that uh, I've found that uh, works super well. Many other cosplayers that I've talked with uh, use this. These uh, little uh, clamping totes um, are really great for storing uh, full costume. They're pretty large, so you can usually fit most normal cosplays in there. Um, and sometimes you'll even want to plan out your build in a way that it might be able to, uh, like let's say you have a long rifle or something like that, that you can actually take it apart in a couple pieces to be able to fit it into something like this. Um, on the side here, there's room to be able to print out a picture of your character and you can just tape it on that side. Then these go ahead and stack. So if you do have, if you're in an apartment or something like that, but you do have a little bit of a storage space or a closet or something like that, that you have access to, or you know, if you're in a small space for your crafting, but you have a garage or different things like that, uh, these work really great. They can just stack on top of each other. Also, too, I've heard of uh, several cosplayers that if you, you know, um, clamp these down nice and tight and then you kind of uh, wrap this up, you can actually even ship your uh, cosplay to the location you're going to or different things like that or take this as a, you know, check luggage type of thing um, that helps as well. So you kind of just have it built in there and you can either send it to yourself for your con or... Um, check it under the plane. Um, so yeah, so these are pretty awesome. Once again, I'm gonna link to all of these things in the description, all of the, uh, some different ideas and some of these things to kind of point you and get you inspired. And then of course you can go down the rabbit hole of those different things. So another big thing for storage that has helped me immensely, especially in this space, um, before I had stuff just piling up on the ground of just you know materials, tools, other things that I had kind of accumulated. And then we got shelves. Um, and that helped a ton. Now, these are very industrial shelves. Um, not saying that you need to go and get an industrial shelf that you put in your living room or something like that, but you can get yourself a, maybe a dedicated bookshelf or a little uh, wardrobe or something like that that can kind of close off and you can store all of your you know, paints and materials and tools and some of those things uh, in that space. And so it can kind of be closed off and hidden. And then when you need to, you can open it up, pull your stuff out work on your work surface. Uh, but it helps to kind of have a, some type of dedicated space to be able to organize that, put put a lot of your things. Now, once again, when you're working with something like EVA foam or even thermoplastics, like um, moldable thermoplastics, like polyplastics, um, comes in like little beads. Uh, you heat it up in hot water and then you can mold it and shape it and create pretty much anything. Um, and uh, there's also warbla and things like that. But when you're working with EVA foam, once again, it's gonna take up minimal tools. Uh, you can just use a heat gun, uh, X-Acto blade, and a surface to, or something to be able to protect your surface to get started. And then you can eventually work your way up. Um, still very small tools, a little Dremel tool kind of thing. Um, and you know, 
hot glue gun, that kind of thing. Stuff that doesn't really take up a whole lot of space and you can easily be able to use in, in a small space. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, I know maybe I kind of rambled in a couple sections, but uh, just trying to give you ideas and inspire you to hopefully be able to uh, cosplay in a small space. And I think the big key is starting with that materials, finding a material that works well uh, to decrease the amount of tools you need and then therefore decrease the also the storage that you need for those tools and then having some good storage solutions for the things that you do have and then being able to kind of hide those and different things like that. Ikea is great. They create stuff for um, hiding things and taking up uh, storing things in a small space. So check out some stuff that they have as well. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a like, share it with a friend that might that it could help out and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cosplay on my friends.